Hello, hello everybody. It's Lisa. Welcome to my channel, Life with Lisa. Um, today I'ma touch on a couple of subjects. Um, one subject is gonna mainly be about like finances and stuff like that. Um, things that us women, men, whoever, probably need to get in order, including myself. Um, I became a lot smarter on um, handling my finances. Uh, we all was young, dumb, and, you know, we did some things that, you know, um, probably messed up our credit or um, didn't pay for something like an apartment or anything of, you know, that nature. Um, so today I'm really going to be talking about investing in yourself. Um, don't put all your money in a bank and just save it because they're not giving you no interest on that crap anyway. So um, they're making money off of you. So you don't want to, I'm not telling you not to use no bank account or anything like that, but you do need to put your money where it's needed to be so that it can work for you. Um, so, you know, I know I'm probably talking to some young people, some old people, older people, uh, you know, even older people don't have their finances in order. And as we can see the COVID-19 coronavirus, Morion, whatever they got coming out with all these viruses. Ooh, hope I live through them. Uh, I've had COVID and I don't want it anymore. So, um, but you know, things got shut down, businesses got closed. Um, you know, it was just practically just hard for people during that time. Um, and it's still going on. Um, I have grandkids. Oh, you can subscribe to their channel. It's called Nana's Kids. Uh, Life with Nana's Kids. Um, so go subscribe, watch them. They're so funny. Um, I actually kept my kids out of school. I'm going to have three of them at home with me. And I kept them out of school for their safety, for their health. You know, it's not practical for everybody to do. Um, but if you have to do it, you will make it happen. Um, they are ages of six, eight, and four. And they practically changed my life. Um, they are amazing kids so they're at home with me usually 24 7 um every now and again i'll take them to their mom's house and she'll keep them for a few days you know back in the summer she was keeping them for a couple of weeks and now you know she's working and stuff so she really can't do it all the time and i'm I work from home um i've been in business for myself for a while um it didn't take off like I wanted it to when I started, of course. You know, usually when people start a business, it does not take off fast at all. Um, you usually struggle through it. And I, I've actually been doing business probably for, um, probably for the last 10 years, probably longer than that. Um, but as the years went, I got smarter, a lot smarter. Um, we all know you can't get rich off of working for nobody. Most people are living from paycheck to paycheck. Not for me. Um, but I commend them people that are. I'm not tripping. Like, if you got to work, you got to work. I understand. I perfectly understand. I'm just in business for myself because I'm putting my money to work. But, um, and then a lot of us aren't knowledgeable at all on how to do things. We're scared. We're, uh, we wasn't raised that way or our parents didn't teach us, yada, 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 whatever comes next. Um, but in reality, life most definitely is short. And when you get to actually thinking about reality of things, you probably would do things a lot different with me. Of course, it's not all about my kids anymore. It's more about my grandkids now. So, um, 
with that being said, I'm I'm putting I'm putting things in action for them. Um, and of course, if I put things in action for them, I'll be putting things in action for my children also because that's less work. I wouldn't want to say less work for them, but it helps. Anything helps. Um, so when I talk about finances, I'm saying, you know, you can go buy a pair of shoes because, you know, we, we feel like sometimes we deserve certain things and we'll say, I'm going to go buy me a pair of shoes because I sure enough deserve it. I know because I've done it. But if you really think about it, do you really want to go buy them shoes? Do you really own the shoe store? Do you own just a piece of that shoe store? So think about when you go spend your money, if you really like own just a little piece of it. I don't care if you put $5 into that, you own a piece of it. So what I'm getting ready to start talking about is stocks, Bitcoin, you got all kinds of trades going on. Make your money work for you uh, a lot of people they all we all got retirement so i got retirement savings i got a retirement account 401k whatever i'm paying for that myself because i'm self-employed but if you really really want to make your money work for you you might want to start putting your money in stocks and um bitcoin and own a piece of something i don't care what it is Put $5 here. If you can just put $5 up a week, put that $5 up. I know it sounds harder because a lot of people, I mean, it's probably harder than it sounds because a lot of people, um, they got other expenses. And I understand that. But we take $5 and buy candy. We take $5 and buy some chips. We take, those ain't things you really need. So put that $5 into something that is going to work for you so that five dollars can turn to ten that ten dollars can turn to twenty that twenty dollars can turn to fifty you know just put it somewhere that it can work for you um five dollars can be a lot if you only got a dollar put a dollar in there but own something with me i put my money into like amazon um tesla um Ford. I used to work for Ford at one time too. Uh, unfortunately, I got my grandkids and I had to bounce. It is what it is. I had to take care of what needed to be taken care of first. And that's why I'm doing a little bit more now in life than I was doing when I worked there. But the money was good and all, but now I own a piece of it. So make your money work for you. Um. Oh, I went and got the kids today. So Y'all might hear the kids talking. Y'all might see them run through the video. Here's one right now. Look at them. Her need to be done and all, but it's all good. <laughs> Get that straw out of your mouth, boy. But uh, it's one of my grandsons. Um, like I said, they live with me. So, um, But normally, when it comes down to savings, um, I'm not going to say I'm the best at saving anything because if you look at my room right now, you'll see shoes, clothes, purses. I even got purses with tags on them. I, you know, I, just, let me just rethink that. So you have to spend your money wisely. Now, of course, we all know you ain't going to get rich from working from somebody. It just ain't going to happen. Let me tell you what wealthy people do. Wealthy people do not work for people. I don't know how that sounds, but wealthy people do not work for people. Wealthy people took the time to get a little knowledge to help them succeed to where they need to be. Us Americans, as they say, are lazy, and we don't want to do that. But it's a lot of Americans that are wealthy, rich, better off, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not going to say I'm in that category. I'm trying to get there, okay? Remember that, trying to get there. But um, because of me 
um, trying to be a little bit more knowledgeable about how to get there. Um, I'm coming on here and helping everybody else at least try to get there, you know. So my thing is, why not help teach people how to get there, you know? Why not? Um, we all in this boat together. If uh, more people did that, we probably all be wealthy, rich, better off, whatever you want to call it. Um, but from what I understand is you have to put your money to work for you. Um, I'm putting my money to work for me. I'm not rich, but I'm putting my money to work for me. Um, a lot of us ain't going to make it to see retirement. God forbid, but a lot of us ain't. And where is that money going to go? It's got to go to either your grandkids or your kids, whatnot, whatever you want, wherever you want it to go is where it's going to go. <clears throat> so that's your least worry. But um, a lot of people want to be better off in life. A lot of people don't want to be stressed out, working from... Um, Paycheck to paycheck. That's tiring. That is so tiring. Um, my body is broke down now from working from paycheck to paycheck. Like, I'm 45 years old and my body is broke down. So, now I'm trying to get my body back right so that I can do what is needed to be done for my grandkids. To keep me together for my grandkids and my kids. Um, which aren't babies anymore, but they're still mine. So, um, yeah. So, I'm even teaching my children, which are grown now. I'm even showing them how to invest in stocks, you know. Even if it's a penny, invest in penny trade. Whatever you need to invest in, I'm teaching them. They got uh, coin, Coinbase out there, Bitcoin. They have... Um, stash i have then i have one for all my grandkids so like you know even if you just gotta put some money in every month you know like i said everybody's it's a lot of people that's working from paycheck to paycheck so with that being said they have to put it in our month uh weekly you know even if it's five dollars out of your paycheck but then you got people who get monthly income and they have to put it in our monthly but then they still have to uh go by the week on how much they're going to put in there for a month. So if you're going to put $5 a week in there and it's four weeks in a month, you got $20 you got to put in there. So it's, it, that could be a lot of money coming out of your income monthly. So what you would want to do is if you can't put the 20 in there, then break it down in half and put $10 a month. Whatever works for you, do it. And uh, I promise you, you won't regret it. Um, let that money work for you. That's what most people are doing that are into this uh stocks and bonds and uh bitcoins and coin bases and stash all of that money if you don't put it to work for you you're not going to be wealthy you're not going to succeed with the life that you want to live this whatever kind of life you want to live i don't know everybody's got a different style on how they want to be. I just know how I want to be. I don't want the worries. I don't want all that stuff. You know, we done done it. <laughs> so I'm tired, okay? Um, so I got to do what I got to do for my family. And I'm here to tell you to do what you got to do for yours. And if that means you got to work from paycheck to paycheck right now, until you get to where you need to be, then do what you got to do. I'm not knocking you at all. Um, but me, on the other hand, I, I do other stuff and I'm making my money work for me and I'm, I'm going to be a little bit, I'm going to manage my money a little better because what happens is people like, we like to shop and I'm one of them. I'm guilty. Raise your hand if you're guilty. I'm guilty. So, um. I got Amazon boxes downstairs. Oh, uh, so yeah, but I put my money also where it needs to be at. 
So I'm going to make my money work for me so that I can buy the nice things. Um, but as far as, you know, life, life is hard for anybody. I tell you. It's hard for me. It's hard for, but I don't want to. I don't want to be like that now. I don't want to be like this forever. No, I can't be like this forever. So uh, I'm most definitely doing what I gotta do. You know, I do taxes. I got a couple of online stores. I um, I just I do all kinds of things. I won't say I'm, I ain't gonna say I'm a hustler beyond control because that's a little. I don't know. It might be a little immature. But when it comes to making my money, I'm going to make my money how I got to make my money. I ain't doing nothing legal, but I'm going to make my money. Um, so, yes. S sorry, y'all. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm on my way. So, I'm going to cut this short because my grandson's calling me. He needs me. He always needs me. And I love it. I love that it depends on me. <laughs> but, um, okay. <laughs> he told me to stop doing the video, y'all. He's so funny. He's four telling me what to do. But anyways, I'm going to come back and do another little show. And, and we're going to still keep talking about this finance. I'm coming. Demanding. But, um, y'all enjoy Y'all's day, night, morning, whichever, whenever you get to looking at it. And not that he's telling me to hurry up. Ooh. But anyways, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe.